Omniverse, as you could see, is a foundational platform for digital twin virtual worlds. Where AI systems are created. Let's talk about building AI models and systems. Graphs are the native format, the most natural data structure of the world's data. Whereas CNNs learn from spatial data and RNNs learn sequences, graph neural networks can learn relationships. How molecules connect to each other in a protein, how people are connected in a social graph, how roads are connected to town cities, all can be described as a graph. Deep Graph Library, DGL, is a Python library built to implement graph neural networks on top of existing deep learning frameworks. We're working with the DGL community to accelerate GNN processing, like we have with CNNs, RNNs, and transformers. From constructing the graph to sampling subgraphs and projecting graphs into a DNN framework, we are accelerating the workflow so that developers can train and inference graphs with billions and trillions of edges. GNNs are the new go-to models for financial services, drug discovery, digital biology, and cybersecurity. Our early graph engagement partners have seen excellent results. PayPal significantly improved their collusion fraud detection. Amazon used it to improve Amazon search and reduce abuse and fraudulent sellers and buyers. They processed graph sizes impossible before. Pinterest scaled search and recommendations to half a billion users. We will have early access in December. Transformers are models that can learn sequence patterns in parallel. This breakthrough sped up language model training dramatically, which led to self-supervised language learning. No longer limited by human data labeling, Giant self-supervised transformers benefit from the troves of digital knowledge on the internet. The recent breakthrough of large language models is one of the great achievements in computer science. There's exciting work being done in self-supervised multimodal learning and models that can do tasks that has never been trained on called zero-shot learning. 10 new models were announced just last year alone. Training large language models is not for the faint of heart. $100 million systems, training trillion parameter models on petabytes of data for months require conviction, deep expertise, and an optimized stack. We created Nemo Megatron, a framework dedicated to training speech and language models of billions and trillion parameters. It is optimized to scale out to gigantic systems and sustain the highest computation efficiency. Our researchers train GPT-3 on NVIDIA's 500-node Selene DGX SuperPod in 11 days. And together with Microsoft, trained the Megatron MTNLG 530 billion parameter model in six weeks. With Nemo Megatron, any company can train state-of-the-art large language models. Once trained, how do we run these large language models? Inference response time has to be sufficiently fast to be useful. On a high-end dual Xeon Platinum CPU server, inferencing Megatron 530B takes over a minute. For many applications, that's basically unusable. GPU accelerating these models is also challenging because the model sizes require much more than a frame buffer size of a GPU. GPT-3, with 175 billion parameters, needs at least 350 gigabytes of memory. Megatron, with 530 billion parameters, needs over one terabyte of memory. So we created the world's first distributed inferencing engine. NVIDIA Triton now does distributed processing across multiple GPUs and multiple nodes. GPT-3 will fit easily on an eight GPU server. Megatron 530B will distribute across two DGX systems. The performance is incredible. From over a minute, to half a second. The capability and implication of large language models are profound. LLMs can answer deep domain questions, comprehend and summarize complex documents, translate languages, write stories, write computer software, understand intent, be trained without supervision, are zero shot, meaning that they can perform tasks without being trained on any examples. LLMs are pre-trained on general knowledge and can be retrained 
to effectively serve new domains. There are 20 or 30 languages that represent 80% of the world's population. There's easily 100 industrial or science domains, and within them, plenty of use cases. Sweden is working on digitizing its history. Samsung is building a smart speaker for the over 200 million Portuguese speakers in South America. Vin Brain is training a Vietnamese large language model for healthcare. JD is building an LLM for their e-commerce services to engage their half a billion customers. Rakuten is building a Japanese LLM for their digital services. ServiceNow is building an IT help desk chatbot. And Xiaomi, the world's largest phone maker, is building an AI assistant. Customizing large language models for new languages and domains is likely the largest supercomputing application ever to come along. There are many AI models that are now mature and industrialized for broad enterprise use. Computer vision, speech recognition, recommender systems, graphs and trees, time series models, generative models, variable encoders, and large language models. There are excellent applications and uses of AI in leading companies across the world's industries. It's great to see them present their work at GTC. Be sure to go watch their talks. There are now 25,000 companies running AI on NVIDIA. Financial companies are looking to reduce fraud on over a billion credit card purchases a day, loss that cost the companies and consumers over $35 billion a year. Customer and contact centers are overwhelmed. There are over half a billion calls a day. This is a $20 billion industry. And of course, e-commerce product service recommendations for what is soon to be a $10 trillion industry. For all companies, automation is vital to growth. And AI is the most powerful automation technology we have ever known. Video conferencing is one of the most important apps for most of us today. We're doing 15 billion meeting minutes a day. Microsoft has over 200 million active users. We're delighted to work with Microsoft to develop live captioning across 28 languages. This is an invaluable feature for those who are deaf or have hearing difficulties. Every captioning session is personalized for each meeting to understand names of people and specific jargon. Video conferencing technology is going to advance very fast. Going forward, a great deal more AI will be infused. In addition to background and noise removal, there will be AI for all kinds of amazing things, language translation, eye contact, relighting, and much more. Let's talk about inference. AI is a new way to write software, and inference is running the software written by AI. Inferencing is challenging on multiple dimensions. The computation intensity of the networks is high, but that's just the start. AI is data-driven, so the movement of data, the pre-processing and post-processing of data, all play into its performance. NVIDIA's CUDA GPU architecture shines at processing this end-to-end -end pipeline. AI applications have different requirements. Response time, batch throughput, continuous streaming, different use cases have different models, and deep learning architectures are really complex. There are different frameworks. There are different machine learning platforms. There are different platforms with different operating environments from cloud, to enterprise, to edge, to embedded. There are different confidentiality, security, functional safety, and reliability requirements. And the world has a large install base of different CPUs and GPUs, each with different capabilities and performance characteristics. The combination of all those requirements is gigantic. Inferencing is arguably one of the most technically challenging runtime engines the world has ever seen. Today, we're making the biggest release of inference tools ever. First, NVIDIA's TensorRT compiler has been integrated natively into TensorFlow and PyTorch. Many developers inference directly from the frameworks. It's easy, it always works, but it's slow. Now with one line of code, machine learning developers can get a three times boost without lifting a finger. Just one line of code. Tree models are ubiquitous especially in finance. It is naturally explainable, and new predictive features can be added on without fear of regressions. Today, 
we're announcing that our Trident Inference server will do inferencing on DL as well as ML models. The performance is fantastic and game-changing. Here's an example on the IEEE fraud detection data set. The goal is to improve detection rate while responding in time to block the transaction. In this chart, that's staying to the right of the red line, which marks one and a half milliseconds, the longest allowable processing time. For small trees, both CPUs and GPUs can do so. However, with large trees needed for better detection rates, inference time remains under one and a half milliseconds for a GPU, while a CPU now takes three and a half milliseconds, way too long to block the transaction. With this release, we open NVIDIA GPUs to the world of classical ML inferencing. Now with one inference platform, try and let you inference DL and ML on GPUs and CPUs. Announcing a major upgrade to our Trident inference server. Inference on all models, any framework, multiple query types, ML and DL for all platforms, cloud, on-prem, edge, and embedded, multi-GPU, multi-node, on CUDA, x86, and ARM, one engine, NVIDIA Triton for all inference workloads. The performance of Triton is spectacular across the board, from imaging to speech AI, natural language processing, recommenders, and reinforcement learning. For CSPs, Triton drives up the utilization and throughput of their infrastructure, freeing capacity for new growth. For users, Triton drives up throughput while reducing cost. This is one of the major benefits of the NVIDIA platform. With our full stack optimization and rich ecosystems, Customers enjoy boosts in performance and new functionality throughout the entire life of use. Years after purchase, our chips keep getting faster and better. The more you buy, the more you save. Every company in every industry is looking to increase automation. To automate, we need to program computers to recognize patterns and execute a task repeatedly and safely. But the world is unstructured. The range of tasks human perform in an infinite range of circumstances is impossible to describe in programs and rules. Advances in AI have opened new opportunities to automate tasks unimaginable before. In computer industry parlance, the edge is where computers touch the world. A large number of edge applications today can be processed in the cloud. For example, people using phones connected to cloud services. For many edge applications, Transit to the cloud is not possible for response time, data security, or reliability reasons, or the practicality of data transport costs for continuous high-speed sensing. Edge applications are essentially robotic applications. They perform similar tasks under similar requirements as self-driving cars. The unifying concept of edge computing is the need to process some combination of sensors, high-speed I.O., data processing, signal and physics processing, AI inferencing, and computer graphics. This is basically the robotics pipeline. It must be processed in real time. Processing time translates to safety, cost, capacity, and ultimately usability. So how do you build the AI applications that process the robotics pipeline? We created the NVIDIA Unified Computing Framework. It lets us compose containers and microservices into a fast pipeline by chaining the processing of dedicated accelerators, the CUDA GPU, Tensor Core AI, RTX graphics, networking security, and fast I.O. UCF lets you build AI applications that can process the robotics pipeline. UCF can create applications that run in data center or embedded systems. Buildings, warehouses, factories, farms, and roads will be able to sense in the future. Metropolis is our video processing and analytics platform. From streaming video, it can detect, track, count, infer 3D pose, and even reconstruct full 3D scenes in the future. We support cameras today, but it's an easy extension with UCF to support LiDAR, depth sensors, imaging radars, ultrasonics, and infrared. Metropolis is full stack and open, like all of our platforms. Customers can use Metropolis application as is or customize our graph. 
the stack can integrate third-party 5G radio, accelerated by Aereo CUDA Phi. And NVIDIA-certified edge computing systems are available from every computer maker. Mavenir, the leader in software-defined 5G solutions, builds 5G core and virtualized radio access networks. They use Metropolis platform to create a fully optimized construction kit to do AI on 5G for industrial applications in factories, plants, public spaces, farms, and places where IT is limited. Mavage AI will be available to early access customers in Q1. The combination of rich sensors, computing, and AI at the edge will inspire a wave of new ideas, applications that are simply not possible today. Here is an example of work that we're doing with Verizon. Volumetric video can offer exciting entertainment experiences. Here, Yahoo Riot Studios places live-action rugby footage in a variety of settings. Traditional edge compute architectures cannot process 3D volumetric data from 50-plus high-resolution cameras in real time. Verizon adopted a breakthrough approach, which bypasses the CPU by using Magnum I.O. to write video streams 10 times faster and process up to 250 terabytes of video per half hour. In the future, Low latency 5G, edge computing, and NVIDIA GPU acceleration will enable Verizon to open new options for putting you in the game. In this chapter, I've shown you how we train new models, graph neural networks, and large language models, and how Triton is one engine for all inference workloads. And using UCF, how you can compose these models into edge applications. Our platform is full stack and open, runs from the cloud, on-prem, to edge and embedded. With partners across the industry, we've built a rich ecosystem that connects NVIDIA AI into whatever IT infrastructure, software platform, workflow, or integrator you choose. Still, there remains a great deal of engineering to stand up these stacks. For that last mile, we're partnering with Equinix to pre-install and integrate NVIDIA AI into their data centers around the world. We're making it easy for enterprises to test drive their workload. And when you're ready to scale out, the full recipe is available to our network of partners to help you do it at Equinix, your own data center, or anywhere else. We call this Launchpad. You will find Launchpads all over the world, in Silicon Valley, Dallas, Washington, DC, London, Paris, Amsterdam, Frankfurt, Singapore, and Tokyo. If there are other locations you would like a Launchpad, let us know.